In all of our lives, we have felt pity for ourselves at some time or another. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about a perspective shift you can have when you're feeling pity for yourself. Living with a disability, I think there are particularly days where even I've felt pity for myself. It's your boy Max, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about what to do when you have those moments of pity and self-doubt. But before I get into this video, I first want to talk about Maximus Moves, my health and wellness coaching service for others living with physical disabilities. Living with MD, I know how hard it is to find purpose and direction in life. Are you held back by self-limiting beliefs, thinking you'll never have the social life you want, the love life you want, or thinking exercise and fitness are totally out of the question? With my heart, mind, and body method, you will soon realize nothing is holding you back. Think of me as your older brother and accountability partner with the mission to improve your mind, body, and soul. So if you or someone you know is currently living with a physical disability, book a strategy session with me in the description below and we will create a personalized workout and wellness program to help you take back control of your life. If you also want to join my private Facebook group for other like-minded individuals, who want to take back their lives, link is also in the description below. So for my business, and as I just said, my Facebook, you could find links to both of those down below. Before I get into this video, please, if you haven't already, smash that like button, comment, subscribe. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about how to change your perspective at times when, when you're feeling bad about yourself. And I think a good way to start is to read this Ojibwe saying that I actually got from The Sopranos. Sometimes I go about in pity for myself and all the while a great wind carries me across the sky. It's kind of interesting that I saw this in a Sopranos episode, but I think it's just such a powerful quote. And ever since I saw that episode, this saying is just stuck with me and let me just try to break it down for you. So there are times when all of us feel bad about ourselves. We feel pity. Why am I the one in a wheelchair? Why did this happen to me? Why have I been afflicted by this disease or this other disorder? Why was I in some sort of accident or whatever it might be? And we feel bad about our current situation. And a lot of times when we think like that, we forget about this great wind, if you will. A lot of times you could think of it as some sort of external force, the force of the universe. But I think the great wind can also be all the things in your life that you should feel proud about. All the people in your life that love you and support you and want the best for you. And a lot of times when we're feeling bad about ourselves, we forget about that. And we don't realize that all of these people, all of these forces are helping us to move forward in our lives. And a lot of times we lose sight of that. And it's tragic in a way because there are all these things working in our favor that we don't really realize. We as people tend to focus on the things that are not so pleasant, the things that give us stress, the things that annoy us, the things that anger us. All the while, there's so much to be happy about. There's so much joy and love in all of our lives. I think that we all fall back into this self-pity without realizing, and it takes a lot of work to not fall into this sort of mindset of pity and negativity. Obviously, it's easier said than done. I don't believe any of that sort of toxic positivity that ignores the fact that life can be stressful, life can be painful, life can give us a lot of suffering. But at the same time, we should never lose sight of the developments in our lives, things that are improving and things that might be helping us. For me personally, that can be a lot of my friends that 
are selfless at times and there for me when I really need them the most. And even other positive developments in my life, such as this gym that caters to people with disabilities and other mobility issues and how I've only been in this gym for about three weeks now and I feel a difference in my life. I have a desire to really get things on track. I've been forcing myself to get up earlier than I normally do, forcing myself to do things to really put my life in check. And I think it's important to share with you because as everyone else out there that's watching this video, I'm also a work in progress. Before I continue on these thoughts, I wanted to take this time to talk about supplements, more specifically supplements that I use every day. Whether it's creatine to give me an extra boost in my workout, whey protein powder for my recovery, or hemp oil for pain and inflammation. I swear by them, and you should add them to your daily routine as well. I also take CoQ10 to keep my heart healthy, and lion's mane mushroom to keep my mind and memory in check. If any of these supplements are piquing your interest, links are in the description below. Now back to the video. So, as I was saying, a lot of times we like to dwell on the negative without realizing the positive. And for me personally, I can complain and feel bad about certain exercises that I currently can't do. But at the same time, looking at this opportunity at this gym, I realized that these are goals that I can work up to. And it's really about awareness, awareness of Despite the pains and ills in our lives, there is still great bits of sunshine and brightness that really make life worth living. I think that this great wind is much more powerful than any of us could ever imagine. And at times when we think we're down, we think there's no hope for us, there's something that makes us realize Life is beautiful. Life is filled with all this love. And a lot of times we lose sight of that. And I think that's the big takeaway for this video. I'm going to read this quote one more time. Just because I think it's so powerful. If it hasn't already resonated with you already. Sometimes I go about in pity for myself. All the while a great wind carries me across the sky. That was again an Ojibwe saying. I think this is a really powerful, powerful quote to remember. And it really is a perspective changer. It really shifts our perspective in a different way and puts a lot of what we suffer in context. That sure there are days of sadness and stress and frustration, but there are also days of joy of bliss, of really enjoying life. And it's sort of a cliche, but you have to take the good with the bad. And there's a lot of good if we really reflect. I think a good way to reflect on this is just to write down things that you're grateful for in your life. Having a list of things that make you feel Gratitude, I think by feeling gratitude, we really understand the beauty that is life. And I think it can be a very valuable perspective change. So please, again, if you haven't already, smash that like button, comment, subscribe. Until next time, it's your boy Max, over and out.